ALS is a debilitating disease that affects the entire family. In this year of the pandemic, the annual event to raise money and awareness is still going on, but with some major changes. We're joined by Aaron Gillespie Highslope, the ALS events manager, to see how this year's event is shaping up. Hi, Aaron. And first of Hi. all, as we get started here, what is ALS? So ALS is also known as Lou Gehrig's disease, and it is a progressive neurodegenerative um, disease that affects the nerves and cells in the brain and spinal cord. This leaves people the inability to speak, to eat, and eventually to breathe. So it is a very devastating disease, and unfortunately there is no cure for ALS as of right now. Um, about every 90, uh, 90 minutes someone is diagnosed with this disease. So um, it's kind of being a prisoner in your own body because your brain is still fully functioning. So this is the reason that we fight so hard to find a cure and research about this disease. It is such an important cause. Tell us about this year's walk. How is it going to look different this year? So as everyone knows, everything's a little different this year. Who could have known that um, even in September, we'd still be uh, in shelter in place and, you know, really unable to be in person events. And so this year we are going to do a, it's kind of a walk your way platform. So what this means is that people on September 26th were asking people to walk in their neighborhoods, in their city parks, however they decide to do so. We knew going into this um, after hearing about the pandemic and you know our patients are most important to us, but canceling this event just wasn't something that we could do because it supports our care services, research, and to find that much needed cure. So this year we decided to let people do it on their own and it's been amazing so far that people are bringing their animals out uh, to walk around their neighborhood and it looks so different depending on what the person wants to do. Some people invite their whole family over and they walk and um, have a little get together afterwards. Some people walk like they do every day with their pets uh, around their neighborhood. Some people go to local parks. I've seen people go downtown and take pictures. So um, while the pandemic has been uh, challenging in certain aspects, I do believe that there's a silver lining because while we only have usually have one walk in person and we have hundreds of people come out, this allows us to have 30, 50 walks throughout uh, Lexington. Uh, it just gives us a little more ground to work with and spread awareness throughout our city. And what does the Walk to Defeat support? So the Walk to Defeat uh, supports the ALS mission, which is disco to discover a treatment and cure for ALS, to serve, advocate for, and to empower people affected by ALS and live their best lives. Uh, here locally, it also provides um, supports for our care services that allows us to have support uh, groups throughout the state, helps, helps with our loan closet, giving equipment to individuals in need uh, during, uh, once you get that diagnosis, it's very expensive for the equipment and you need things very quickly. And so we help individuals and caregivers to do that. And also with our quality of life grants, like I said, it's very expensive. It can be very towing, um, not only with the diagnosis, but with the medical expenses. So we try our best to help provide um, some of those supports to help them through that. Well, Erin, good luck with the walk to defeat ALS. I know a lot of people will come out to support you. Have a good day with it. I appreciate it. Thank you.